Happy Tuesday, everyone. I have two new to me vintage handbags, and they are very stunning, beautiful, classic, classy, elegant, chic handbags from um, Roberta di um, Camerino. Some of you may not be aware of um, this uh, Italian designer, Roberta di Camerino, but um, her bags are known for innovativeness or um, elegance, and they are just very, very well made. So this is an Italian house, and um, it was established in 1945, um, and um, they are they mostly specialize i would say because of the abundance of the style that i see um in velvet handbags it's like uh, the texture is silky velvet and they are very very well structured with um, that uh, brass gold um hardware you can see them uh, right now um, on you know a luxury uh, consignment shops and also um, you you ha you can find them on eBay or any other um, secondhand market but uh, they are very expensive so you are lucky if you can um, find a good deal that is $300 or um, less some of the handbags I've been seeing right now are priced like some of them are ridiculously priced at like 2000 or a thousand dollars so um, I'm just uh, glad that I didn't pick up these two uh, that uh, price range I would say I paid a reasonable amount of money for these two and they came in with of course flaws as expected with um, vintage bags and for the price that I paid um, I would say I could justify that uh, it was a reasonable purchase okay so um, the other one um, is uh, a, a smooth leather and the other one is um, the velvet uh, leather okay um, I will start off with this um, handbag okay the color is um, burgundy or deep red um, and with um, the le letter R uh, clasp closure here that you just push there you go it's, it's, it's a very very um, very uh, minimalist simple um, um, handbag and I would say this is a clutch so um, in today's age this would be uh, categorized as a wallet and chain <laughs> but it is bulkier than your average wallet so this is probably like um 10 or 11 inches and um one and a half inch in width and up uh, uh four inches in height so it's very very simple it's just smooth um calf leather and with a um, gold uh, chain. This is just a shoulder bag. Uh, this is not long enough uh, to be used as crossbody, but I think you can um, change it up a bit if you want to uh, use a longer chain. I'm not sure if I can do that though, but so let me just show you. So uh, this is just like your average um, long wallet. But it's just bulkier, of course, so you just uh, push this down. And I just love the interior lining, guys. So um, there you go. It has a smooth um, leather interior lining. I just love these. Um, it, it's just so rich. I love um, handbag linings like this. So, And it says here... Roberto Di Camerino, product of Italy, genuine leather and leather lined. Okay, so there you go. If you can see that, the emblem is in a gold. It just has one open pocket. And other than that, there's nothing. Okay, so um, from the seller... Uh, wrote me a note and told me that this was uh, a gift 
from her 93 year old friend so <laughs> I'm not sure if uh, she's still alive but this was a hand-me-down from her 93 year old friend and I'm happy to have it it's just really really classy and um, I'm sorry I may not be focusing it uh, at the center okay it's really really nice okay moving on to the Roberta Camarena handbag that um, uh, she is famous for I think the uh, when I was reading the history earlier Roberta was uh, um, was um, adapted as its uh, you know its brand name and it was from the Fred Astaire character something like that so um, um, I may have to um, read it again and uh, um, when I know more I'm going to um, share it with you okay so um, Roberto Camerino handbags when you google them all these images will you know pop out um, it could be in a rectangular no not rectangular in a in a oh, yeah uh, it's bigger than this but um, smaller in height than this this is pretty much like a square version it's very very sturdy you guys it's very very well structured okay so i bought this um yesterday the seller and i were just you know countering and you know um and when i asked her if uh, the 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 handles were damaged she told me no they're perfect they're perfect but when it came to me guys this was in a very very um, I would say very damaged um, state so uh, but I've made a lot of improvements uh, of myself I polished it up with uh, I covered the nicks and um, the blemishes with a dye um, my shoe polish my quick shoe polish that's what I, what i use for scuffs on my bags and um i also polish the brass with brasso but uh i was able to remove the verdigris or the dirt but um it's not as polished as i would like it to be so i think this has to be uh gold plated or replated all right but it really really you know doesn't uh, matter okay so this is a very boxy square um handbag and um guys if you swing this at somebody you would you could hurt that person i'm telling you so it just makes a lot of noise and um this is probably less than a foot long and um the it has this um um, um, logo here it's like a Versace-ish um, logo but you can't um, see it it was like it's, it, it has faded so I don't know how to revive a velvet guys this is my very first uh, velvet handbag so there are some bits that um, are scuffed here so I just covered it up with the black um, shoe polish so this is like a medusa like um versace ish type of um of logo and um the width guys is probably four to uh, five inches my that's my approximation so this is so hard the hardware guys the back is just plain and simple just like that and it doesn't have any fit studs I would have preferred this to have um, fit studs so that would protect the velvet okay I still have to research how I could restore the velvet um, shine because in some areas it's fading I actually brushed this with toothbrush and I've actually um, wiped it with the uh, uh, damp uh, soapy cloth 
I'm not even sure if you know that's the right thing to do, but that's what I do when I receive a bag. I, I sanitize it and I clean it to the max to the point of sometimes ruining the bag. And the handle, guys, the handle, the it has come off. This thing, okay, there you go. It's sticking out. If you could see that, there is something here that is sticking out. There you go. So you have to really push it up back. So it's like uh, it has slid okay from here because this one doesn't have that's the uh, that's the rubber tube that um that shapes this handle and when i asked the seller if is there something wrong with the handle she said absolutely not it's perfect but it came to me and it came to me it was sticking out like half inch already yesterday but um anyway I already covered this up also with uh, shoe polish so this has immensely improved guys because of my DIYs now what I'm gonna do is bring this again to my favorite cobbler and I don't know what they have to do so they could push this um, thing up because I really don't like it when it's sticking out guys otherwise I have to put a, a scarf there okay so it won't be noticeable okay now I was trying to open this it's very very hard to open this guy so it's like an anti-theft um, <laughs> mechanism i was like how do you open it i think this was supposed to come with a lock or a key i'm not sure i'm not sure i don't think so but i was trying to you know push this up bend it forward backwards and i couldn't open it and then i figured out oh you have to slide it to the right guys and then while you slide it you have to push this down there you go and um i knew that when i got this the interior would be really really peeled off when i got this guys yesterday it was peeled like especially the sides they were like brown already it was showing but i covered it up with a shoe polish and um it, i think i did a good job there are still some scratches there that you can't uh, remove but you see bags like this you know I would consider them treasures <laughs> and um, gems because you know they're very very hard to come by and um, yeah I just love love this handbag guys so um, it had peeling here it was brown brown all over here and then I just covered it up and uh, I think I did a pretty good job so there you go there's just one uh, there are two open pockets one on one side over there and one on the other side it says there Roberta Di Camerino and um, and just open this and there's another zip compartment so um, this bag did not come with any smell though I, it just has that old woman powder smell which is okay I could tolerate that so um, it has a bit of like cakey powder smell that the uh, old woman used to carry and it's just really really nice and see i just love the noise that it makes you know when i close um the hardware of my vintage bags because i've uh, i've mentioned before the noisier the um the noisier or the louder the handbag makes when when you close it then the sturdier it is so this is a very very well made handbag and i would like to get it in another color but um i'm not sure if i'm you know willing to spend 500 less than 500 or up for a vintage um handbag it's just too much for me at this point uh and i know this is a uh, very very classy guys I'm gonna be wearing this I'm gonna use I'm so excited and um, yeah so there you go bye